Can portable battery systems like the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra truly rival installed systems like the Enphase IQ battery options to power your home? We dedicated hours of research to answer that and other questions regarding portable versus installed home batteries. But first, let's look at a home battery backup system. Understanding battery backups is more critical than ever at a time when power outages continue to be a real thing in a modern world. I lost power recently because a gentleman tested his car's kinetic energy against a power line down the street from my house. Texas lost power because it got chilly and California because it got windy. You get the picture. That's where battery backup comes in. Here's the lowdown. Do you have battery backup? Batteries now come in two flavors, portable and installed. Both solutions are meant to give you relief if your home loses power. Depending on your solution, a battery system would feed power to circuits in your home for some time during an outage. And like a bank, these batteries can now pay dividends when they also function as energy storage. Energy storage is different from battery backup because the idea is that you literally store the energy for later use. Think of it as saving for a rainy day. As you draw the power from your energy storage after rates go up, you avoid paying the difference to the utility. So for example, if you charged the battery from the grid at 25 cents and used the power to avoid paying 55 cents between 4 and 9 p.m., you saved 30 cents per kilowatt hour used from the battery. Rinse, repeat, and profit, I think how the saying goes. Now, as we've set the stage for the basics of battery and energy storage, let's pull back the curtain on two compelling options on the market, one from Enphase and one from the little engine that could, EcoFlow. Enphase Energy, primarily known for making inverters, has included batteries in its lineup since 2016, but it wasn't until 2020 that it introduced its batteries into the American market. In September of 2023, Enphase released a new battery model, the 5P. Like the 10 kilowatt hour battery option they offer, the 5P also requires the installation of a system controller and IQ combiner box. But instead of the 10 kilowatt hours, you get five kilowatt hours. The 5P battery has iron phosphate chemistry, meaning excellent safety and longevity. It also comes with an app that allows for customization, monitoring, updates via a web connected interface, and money saving configurations for time of use rates. This ain't my dad's Duracell battery. This battery solution is a great way to get started with an entry level backup solution for your home until you compare it to the likes of the DPU. The EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra has created a lot of buzz recently. And just like an MCU character, the DPU keeps you charged up and surprised at how much power it has inside. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. Maybe I should talk to someone. Stop it. Get some help. The DPU is an iron phosphate battery with six kilowatt hours of capacity. That's nothing to scoff at, but it is something to huff and puff at if you try and move it. Though this bad boy is considered portable, it may be heavier than the Magic Dragon, coming in at 195 LBs. Designed as a whole home backup without needing installation, the DPU offers different charging methods, including wall outlets, sizable solar panel inputs, and even electric vehicle charging stations. But can this little giant help fend off the TOU monster coming for your wallet? It can. You can program the battery through the EcoFlow app to discharge during time of use so that anything plugged into it will run off the battery rather than your home's electricity. This will enable the use of the DPU as energy storage rather than energy backup, saving you money through avoided costs. For what it is, the Delta Pro Ultra packs a whole lot of punch. You can almost pass it off as Kool-Aid. Listen, man, I like puns. I don't know. And now, let's break new ground and compare the Enphase 5P to the EcoFlow DPU. I wonder how the guys at Enphase would have discussed this new competitor only six months ago had they known what EcoFlow was up to. 
Our last video compared the DPU to the Tesla Powerwall, and we even admitted it was more apples to oranges. Now the comparison is on a more level playing field. We have two comparable battery systems broken down by kilowatt hour, power capacities, efficiencies, and cost. How much is 20% worth to you? That's a significant number and the difference in capacity between the 5P and the DPU. 20% more capacity means the Delta Pro Ultra holds 6 kilowatt hours to the end phase 5 kilowatt hours. So what does that mean in practical terms? With the DPU, you can settle in for roughly 60 hours of TV. Your refrigerator can run for about three days longer if you keep it closed during your TV marathon. Your router and modem will run long enough to read the internet, or about 500 hours. And seven to 10 low wattage LED bulbs in use around the house during nighttime hours for three to four nights. In more relative numbers, a DPU would keep the essentials of a home going for three to five days if you manage the power use well. With the Enphase 5P, you get less than 50 hours of that TV time and your fridge won't make it to three days unless you keep that TV off. The same lighting setup would only get you two to three nights of lighting, but your router and modem will still go a while since they use very little power. While you do get 20% less capacity with the 5P, it offers 20% more battery anxiety, which only sweetens the relief when the power comes back on. Keeping things on is your kilowatt hour capacity, but turning things on, well now, that's your power capacity. So much opportunity for innuendos, but the writers told me I don't get paid to be funny. Some devices or appliances require more power than others to turn on and operate. For example, an AC compressor needs more power than a plug-in vacuum cleaner. In battery talk, this is known as your peak power output, and the longer you can hold this peak, the better. The 5P delivers a steady 3.8 kilowatt output, peaking at 7.7 .7 kilowatts for three seconds. The Delta Pro Ultra matches and raises to 7.2 kilowatt of continuous output and 10.8 kilowatts max for 10 seconds. But it's not all down and out for the end phase battery. I think it does have some redeeming qualities. Two things to know about when buying batteries. One, more important than the other, are the round trip efficiency and the warranty details. I'll let you decide which one matters more than the other because frankly, it's too subjective for me to say. Round trip efficiency means how much power you put in and get out of the battery as you charge and discharge. Enphase offers a 90% rating compared to EcoFlow's 85%. If you pay close attention, you realize you won't get the total capacity out of a battery. The five Ps, five kilowatt hours, turns into 4.5 kilowatt hours while the DPU turns into 5.1 kilowatt hours from the original six. And to be honest, in my experiments with the close cousin of the DPU, the Delta Pro, I got an 83% RTE. Moving on to warranties, the best warranty is one you don't need to use. The second best warranty is when the company comes through for you. But remember, there are always stipulations, so pay close attention. Okay, let's go. Enphase offers 15 years or 6,000 discharge cycles for at least 60% of the battery nameplate when installed and used in accordance with the quick install guide and product data sheet. Whew. Sheet. That's a lot of details. Now EcoFlow offers only five years on the Delta Pro Ultra and nowhere in their warranty spec sheet mentions a charge cycle limit or remaining battery capacity at the end of warranty. Maybe someone in the comments knows something that we don't. A big part of EcoFlow blurring the lines between portable and installed batteries is the software apps or systems they use to operate those batteries. 
end phase and EcoFlow publish apps you sync to your battery system and then to your phone from which you have complete control of everything your battery does. From what time you charge it to what power source you charge it from to how you discharge the battery on a regular day versus a day when you lost power or even on the day of the week and the hour of the day in order to offset varying utility rates. It's all in the brains of these batteries and it seems these companies get it as they're making usable and friendly apps. And that image and style are the preconceived notions of price. Alright, stop what you're doing cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. How much money you have to part with for these batteries is often a deciding factor for many people. Let's talk about the Benjamins, C-Notes, Hunnits, Lobsters, or however you refer to money. Right out of the gate, there's a difference in cost between the two batteries because the DPU does not require any installation. The Enphase 5P will cost you somewhere between $9,000 to $11,000, including the installation cost, depending on the scope of work required to get it up and running. A comparable Delta Pro Ultra with its smart panel installation to back up dedicated circuits in your home will start you at $7,100 plus installation costs, which can be several hundred dollars to thousands of dollars plus. A simple and standalone DPU into which you plug in directly would set you back $57.99 or $3,000 plus that of the Enphase 5P. I'm no math magician, but that's a lot of money. We just compared five-ish things. Battery capacity, efficiencies, warranties, controls, and cost. That can only leave us with one winner. And the winner depends on how you see things. But I think the DPU is a better choice. Before you strongly disagree with me, please hit the subscribe button if you feel I've earned it thus far and refrain from hitting it in about 20 seconds. What had happened is that the smart panel integration and easy DPU stackability make it a winner. Here's why. With any installed battery, not just Enphase, you must pay professional installation costs on each battery and future add-ons. With the DPU option, if you installed the smart home panel, you plug additional batteries into the panel so you can go from one to 15 batteries for your home far easier and less expensive than you can with the Enphase setup. The EcoFlow modularity, lower cost at initial acquisition, and additional future batteries outweigh the downsides of a shorter warranty, in my opinion. But I'm just one man. What do you think? I was very excited to make this video because I believe an excellent approach to adopting this kind of technology is understanding what's out there. And get this, if you like this take on the video, then check out our 20, 2024 best solar panel options video because it's going to really lead you in the right direction.